What's up everybody? My name is Emma Morrison and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about 5 laws of money. The people who never learn the rules of money will always be ruled by money and that's why you need to learn the rules of money. But before we get into these 5 laws, make sure you hit the thumbs up button below because if you don't, then YouTube doesn't show our videos to anybody else. Law number 1. Money is emotionless. Having money doesn't make you an evil person and having money doesn't make you a good person. Having money gives you fuel for your life to do many things and you as a controller of your fuel decide what you want to use your fuel to do. Your money is emotionless, it doesn't care what you tell it to do. If you are an evil person, having more money will make you a bigger even person. If you are a person who loves to help homeless people, having money will definitely help you to help more homeless persons. Law number 2. Money doesn't reward hard work. If money rewarded hard work, then the highest paid people in the world would be construction workers, the laborers, and the people who work in retails and restaurant jobs. News flash, they are not. Let's say you're a consultant making hundred thousand dollars a year and you work 10 hours a day and you want to make some more money, you could work harder at your job and now you might be working 15 hours a day and you might get a 10% or 20% bump if you're lucky. Now you're working really really hard to make more money, but you're only marginally making more money. But at the same time, your boss might be making 10x more than you, but they are not working harder. It's because money doesn't reward hard work, money rewards unique value and you primarily get paid for the value you will bring in an hour. When you work hard and acquire this unique value, you have unlimited earning potential. Versus before, you are working hard to make more money where you only have marginal returns. Law number 3. Money aids to be sitting still. Money can be printed a million times faster than you can work for it. When you make your money sit still, it's becoming less and less valuable. Your money would definitely rather be out there working for you, attracting new friends and making more money. This normally happens when money goes to people who know how to use their money. Like when you go shopping, the business owner is making the money because they use their money to buy goods that will make them money. Versus you, you are using your money to buy things and that is how you lose your money. And when you save your money in the bank, you're forcing your money to sit still and do nothing. I call this lazy money and you don't want to have too much lazy money sitting around. Now this is when the bank comes in and say, okay, you're abusing your money, so we're going to use your money for you. They take that $1,000 or whatever amount you have deposited in your savings account. They turn around and they loan it to John Brown because John Brown wanted the money for a mortgage. Now your money is out there working really hard for the bank, attracting them a lot of money through interest while you are getting nothing on your money. Law number 4. With no risk come with no returns. If you want to become wealthy, you need to ask yourself two things. One, what are my life goals? And two, how fast can I double my money? And then see how these answers align. The faster you can double your money, the more money and the more wealth you will have and the more freedom. But this is where your risk need to align with your life goals. When you save all of your money in a savings account, paying 0.05% a year, it will take you 138 years for you to double your money. With this, your money isn't going anywhere and you will never achieve your goals. Now if you put your money into a high interest rate CD, certificate of deposit, paying about 2.5 interest per year, it will take you 28 years to double your money. Getting better, right? Still, nothing significant or meaningful is going to come out of this. If you invest your money in stocks or real estate, then you can get a 10% a year. Now, you can double your money every 7 years. And now we are talking because you can double your money 7 times over your lifetime. If you started off with $10,000, over your lifetime you could probably end up with $10 million. If you start your own business, now you are working physically hard to grow your money and that can get you 30% to 100% or even more. If we just stick to the lower amount which is 30% a year, now your money will be doubling every 2.6 years. And now what took you a lifetime to do, you can just do it in 30 years. Further down you go down the list, the better the returns are, but it comes with more risk. Not to mention crypto, you could maybe double your money within a year. When you put your money in a savings account, you got no risk, you give your money to the bank and you have access to your money whenever you want. 
but that's all you'll get. No reward, no returns. When you put your money into a CD, now your money is tied up for a few years, which is why you get a better return, but still, nothing really meaningful. Now, when you invest your money in stocks or real estate, now you can get better returns on your money. But you can also lose your money a lot easier because it comes with more risk. And when you start your own business, now you invest your own time and money to grow your business with no guarantees, but you have the highest potential here. You need to ask yourself what type of life do you want to live and make sure your risk is aligning with your life goals. Law number 5. Negative minds repel money. If you want to repel Superman, all you need to do is become a kryptonite. And if you want to repel money, all you need to do is have a negative mind towards money. When you criticize someone else's success, you are not hurting them. They are successful. They are doing their thing. And they are not going to stop being successful just because you are upset. But you are stopping yourself from becoming successful by doing that. And that's not all. You will 100% of the time without a doubt never become successful if you tell yourself you cannot do it. When you tell yourself you can't do something, your brain shuts off. It will stop trying. Which is why instead of saying you can't do something, ask yourself how can you do it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with one friend. And also, I'm looking forward for your views in the comment section below.